here we'll be doing one more interesting problem from lilavati the math treatise written by bhaskaracharya in 12th century ad here we have been given two bamboos and their heights are given as 15 cubits and 10 cubits they stand at some unknown distance from each other and then there are two ropes tied between them and as they crisscross uh, there is a point of intersection whose elevation from the ground is to be found and first let us figure out this mystery that even if the distance between bamboos is not given can we really find this elevation of point of intersection won't it change depending on the distance between them for that let us actually change the distance and see for ourselves as you can see i am moving uh, the shorter bamboo and still the point of intersection is moving along a path which is a horizontal line a little thought would reveal that this is not surprising what i am really doing is taking the whole diagram and scaling in the x direction and if i am purely scaling in the x direction there is no reason why the y coordinates or the heights should vary at all and therefore we don't really need this horizontal distance between the bamboos we can still figure out the elevation which is a constant here now the first method we will employ uh, will be coordinate geometry where we will treat these two lines uh, as lines in plane and write their equations so from the dimensions given we can write the slope of this line if this is the origin then the slope would be 10 over this distance let's call it d while this line would have a negative slope of 15 over this distance d and its y-intercept is 15 so we can write the equations of these two lines and then these two equations can be uh, worked out simultaneously so let's start doing some rough work over here i'll just write the two equations of the lines and we will start solving them together so since we are interested in y the height we will eliminate x so from equation 2 i'm going to write an expression for x and i'm going to substitute that in equation 1 and that will give me this expression on the right hand side from where the distance d between the bamboos is getting cancelled and that is expected it is not having no bearing on our answer so we'll simplify this and get an answer of y is equal to 6. so this is the analytical method uh, now let us do it using geometry and have some fun doing so so now we'll start treating this problem as a purely geometric problem so we'll say we are we have been given a triangle and there is another right angle triangle that intersects it like this with a common base the height of point of intersection of their two hypotenuse is to be found instead of taking the heights as 15 and 10 let us take some generic expressions so i'll call them as h1 and h2 and the height h of the junction point is to be found so we will take one triangle at a time uh, we will take this line as if it is dividing its base into two parts of length say x1 and x2 then because these two lines are both vertical they are parallel and therefore we are getting two uh, similar triangles so i can write this distance h in terms of h1 x1 and x2 like this so let's do some rough work here okay h is equal to h1 plus x2 upon this whole distance x1 plus x2 similarly i can take the second triangle and this time i can write this h in terms of h2 and x1 x2 so this is that expression both the expressions are talking about h so we can equate them and simplify where we'll get x1 upon x2 the ratio of these two distances is same as h1 upon h2 the ratio of the two heights hardly surprising as this height increases the distance x1 would increase the point would be pushed towards right let us show this ratio here and then instead of writing this expression in terms of x1 and x2 we can write in terms of h1 and h2 so this is the first expression rewritten in this form and that gives us our formula so it says the height of point of intersection is the product h1 h1 into h2 divided by the sum h1 plus h2 lilavati gives this formula and this is a really beautiful solution uh, that was found uh, but let's interpret this formula in terms of some modern concepts so here some of you would realize that uh, since we are talking about these two heights and something in between that is affected by both it might have something to do with means and averages yes you are right but what kind of mean well if you look at the numerator it is akin to geometric mean in fact it is the square of the geometric mean of h1 and h2 
and the denominator it is the sum so it is two times the arithmetic average even if you don't know these concepts uh, we'll be doing it from the first principle so don't worry about it what we'll do we'll take this whole expression and just turn it upside down we'll take the reciprocal on both sides and you'll get 1 upon h is equal to after simplification 1 upon h1 plus 1 upon h2 so this looks something like harmonic mean so we get the formula as the point of intersections elevation is the harmonic mean of these two bamboos divided by 